Good morning, everyone. Today, we will be discussing our mind and how it can tell stories. Our minds are amazing. We experience our perception of the world with thanks to our minds. But we have to be aware that our minds can often fill in the gaps, and that's not always helpful. So, we might have an idea of a story or a short snippet of information, and we start to make guesses to fill in the parts that we don't quite know. Before you know it, our minds have created a full blown story just from a snippet of information. Let's explore this idea together. Teacher, could you assign the children learning partners for this task? We are going to reveal just a short part of a story, one small bit at a time. And I'd like you to discuss with your learning partner what story comes up in your mind. Do you start to build a picture of this person in your mind? So, first bit. Charlie is cycling home. I wonder what picture appears in your mind. Who do you think Charlie is? Discuss this with your learning partner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Part two. He has a bunch of flowers in his basket. And again, does this change the story for Charlie? Discuss with your learning partner. What image of Charlie do you have in your mind? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Part three. He can't wait to see his daughter and grandchild. And again, does this change the story for Charlie? Discuss with your learning partner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. He is wearing his new dance leggings. And again, does this change the story for Charlie? Discuss with your learning partner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Who started off with a story that was completely different to the actual story in the end? Did anyone guess that Charlie is actually a funky granddad who performs contemporary dance? So, we might have an idea of a story or something that's happened and our mind expands on all those little details so that we can understand and process in better detail. Our minds are busy trying to make sense of everything before we even know all the facts. The mind loves to solve a problem. Let me think of another example. Olivia walks into the playground and some girls in the year above her burst out laughing. <laughs> Olivia becomes very worried. Her mind begins to work overdrive. Why are they laughing at me? But 
What Olivia doesn't know is that the girls were actually making up some silly lyrics for a new song. They'd been singing the lyrics, but Olivia didn't hear this. She just heard them laughing and saw them laugh as she entered the playground. So it was just timing. They weren't laughing at her, but sometimes if we let our minds start running away with a story, the story can snowball and start to get out of hand. Our minds can add more and more layers to the story. And without actually knowing the facts, we think we know what's happened. Olivia's mind begins to make all sorts of stories. <sighs> Why are they laughing at me? It must be because they think my backpack is childish. <sighs> they think that I'm silly and immature. There's no way I'm ever taking this backpack to school again. I'll take another one next time. What do you think I mean by snowballing? Have you ever rolled a snowball along in the snow to make it bigger and bigger? That's kind of what happens to the stories in our mind. We can add layers and layers to that story until we're convinced of something, when really we don't have the facts to back it up. It can be pretty difficult to spot when this is happening. But if we take a moment to stop and to breathe, maybe do a longer practice, then we can sometimes recognise that we are allowing a story to snowball. It can be really good for us to just take a break from the situation and to look at what's happening from somebody else's point of view. Have you ever worried about something that turned out to be nothing? Me too. And mindfulness has helped me to see things clearly many times. Well done, everyone. Great listening. I'll see you again really soon. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye for now. Bye. One Mind, creating happier, healthier classrooms.